Hi everyone and welcome to the series of solving uh, PNG exam questions. And uh, this is a question from the electrical A5 exam. This is a Whitstone bridge question that appears in several uh, exams. As you can see here, the dates of that question. Now, when you look at this question from the first uh, impression we got, this is a circuit question. Why this question is coming into an electronics exam. But this is a special circuit called the Whitstone Bridge, and this is used a lot in instrumentations and electronics. And we will solve this question the classical way, uh, the way that we use it in circuits. And we will solve it also in a, in a different way, knowing some of the characteristics of the, uh, of the Whitstone Bridge, and that will lead to uh, very uh, similar answers, as we will see. So I will start by solving this question the classical way, uh, which is like a circuit question, and I will use nodal analysis. So let me reload the circuit to make it uh, easier to visualize. So we have here R1 as one kilo ohm. Then we have here R2 as uh, 1.2 kilo ohm. R3 is 9.1 kilo ohm, and basically your R4 is 11 kilo ohm. In between, there is uh, a resistance, which is equal to 2 kilo ohm. Our interest is to find this I5, and here we will have a voltage supply, which equal to in in volt. And we have here VA and this is VB. So what is I between VA and VB? So we'll use nodal analysis. So this node is ground. So this is V equal to zero. This is the node connected to the supply. So this is equal to in volt. So we have only two unknowns. So we need two equations. So we will apply KCL. So apply KCL at VA. We will assume the currents are leaving. So we'll represent the currents in terms of the node voltages. So I will not consider I5 now. I will just have the equations in terms of VA and VB. So assume all the currents are leaving the, the node. So we will have VA minus 10 divided by one kilo, which is this current, plus VA minus VB divided by two kilo, which is this current. And finally, the third current, which is VA minus zero divided by 1.2 kilo equal to zero, okay? So we will multiply by the least common uh, denominator. So we multiply everything times 2.4 kilo. So here we will have 2.4 VA plus, or sorry, minus uh, 24 plus 1.2 VA minus 1.2 VB plus 2 VA equal to zero. So 2.4 VA. 1.2 VA and 2 VA, so we will have 5.6 VA, and then we will have minus 1.2 VB equal to 12, 24, and that is my first equation. And we'll apply KCL at VB. Again, I will assume all the currents are leaving. It doesn't matter the current direction. You can assume any current direction as far as you are maintaining the current, uh, the KCL rule, which is summation of currents enter the, the node equal to the current leaves the node. So we will have here VB minus, the voltage here is 10, so the current up minus 10 divided by 9.1 kilo plus VB minus VA divided by two kilo, which is this current. And finally, the last current plus VB 
all blood in the brain kilo equal to zero. So the most, the least common denominator, I will multiply everything times 100 kilo. So we'll have here 11 VB minus 10 plus 15 VB minus VA plus 9.1 VB equal to zero. Okay, so if we collect turns for uh, VA, we will have minus 50 VA. For VB, we have 11, we have 50, we have 9.1, so plus 70.1 VB, and this equal to 110. This is my second equation. We have two equations to unknown. We can solve them here. So solve one and two. Then you will find that your VA is approximately equal to 5.4557 volt. And your VB is approximately equal to 5.46 volt. Now, I know VA and VB. From this, I will find my I5, which is equal to VA minus VB divided by R5, or 5.4557 minus 5.46 divided by R5, which is equal to 2 kilo. And this will give me minus point. 0, 0, 0.0214 milliamp. Very, very, very small current. Very small current. Okay. So that is the classical way. If you have nothing to know about Whitson Bridge, this is how you solve it. Now we could solve it in a different way. So whenever you have a Whitson Bridge question, you have to check if the Whitson Bridge is balanced or not. What do we mean by balanced? You look for the first leg, the ratio of the first leg, R1 and R2. So you check R1 over R2, is it equal to R3 over R4? Okay, let's see. R1 is one kilo divided by R2, which is 1.2 kilo. And this is approximately equal to 0.8. 333. Now, R3 over R4, it is 9.1 kilo divided by 11 kilo, and that is also around 0.8272, and so on and so forth. Okay, so when you look here for the second digit, if you approximate this, they are almost equal. So if these two ratios are equal, it means that VA is actually equal to VB, and this will make your I5 equal to zero. Now, when you look to the full answer, VA and VB are indeed very, very close to each other. They are almost the same. If you take the approximation of VA to the second decimal digit, they are 5.46 will be the same. Okay. And when you look to the current, it's basically what to 2.14 microamp, extremely, extremely small current. Okay, so you can approximate it equal to zero. So if you have no clue how the Whitstone bridge works, you can use this classical approach. It's a simple problem, two unknowns. If you know the Whitstone bridge and you understand that if the bridge is balanced, then the current here is equal to zero and VA will be indeed equal to the